So, you decide to solo because everyone else is holding you back? Well, what the heck are you supposed to use? Here's what you need. It's also worth saying you probably won't get a first try, it's all up to RNG. Okay, let's go! So, to start, place two pyromancers, here and here. Now, as soon as you can, upgrade the left pyromancer to level 1. Then get a pyromancer down here. And another here. Now upgrade to level 1 pyromancer at the start to level 2. Now upgrade all the pyromancers on the right to level 1. Then the back right to level 2. And the final level 0 to level 1. Now just get them all to level 2. Now start saving to get a minigunner in the back. Now save for a ranger, this one we're not going to upgrade. Next is two more mini gunners. Pause here for a sec. Depending on the side the Rift Elf spawns, you have to place your minigunners in different spots. Here's where it would go in the other variation. Now we just want to get a commander that has all the minigunners and the ranger in its range. Phase 2, here we go. Start by placing level 3 DJ, then a max pyro, and then start working on your rangers. Once you finish the ranger level 2, place a commander. And now two level 2 minigunners so that we don't die to the hiddens. Get another commander and get them to call to arms. Just use that whenever you feel necessary. It should be going most of the time. 
And now back to working on Rangers. Let's just get two more level two ones. Okay, now let's get three more level 2 mini -minners. Place the final ranger, then start upgrading them to level 3. Okay, we're on to phase three. Start with a max DJ, then two max pyros, then two level one rangers, then some mini gunners. Now we're going to place a commander so you can use skull to arms. Try to use as much as you can. In a step or two we'll get a few more so you can change. Also, if it wasn't obvious, we're mostly focusing minigunners here to do the most damage. Have one or both these rangers in the back to strongest. Our goal with them is just for them to snipe bosses.
Okay, now just keep chain call to arms. Krampus is pretty much the only one left, so all the pyromancers and other things that are too close to the front and don't get Krampus. But depending on how it jumps, that might just be game. Good luck. And if you want, this is optional, you can max the rangers. There we go, I'll have an uncut version in the description. Generally reasons you'd lose if Krampus doesn't jump back there, or if you're not chaining cult arms. I will also warn you guys again, this strategy is very RNG dependent. It works, but it's hard. Thanks for watching.